Hi, this is Dave Barnett with LZ Tactical Lighting with another video blog. Today's topic is something that has been requested by popular demand, and that is we're going to go through each of the different LZ tail caps and talk about how they operate. So first off, we're going to go through the LZ rotary tail cap. And that's what we have here on this LZ Charlie model. And the rotary tail cap is very simple. That's why so many people love it. The push button activates the flashlight. So as long as I'm pushing on the button, I have light. When I release the button, the light turns off. That's simply. If I want to adjust it so that it's on permanently, I simply take the tail cap and rotate it fully clockwise or screw it all the way on. Now one of the unique things about this tail cap is it has adjustable sensitivity. So if I barely back it off of all the way screwed on or fully clockwise, it's very sensitive. And I can push even on the side of the tail cap, not even on the button itself, and activate it. Now if that's too sensitive, all I need to do is rotate it off a few degrees or counterclockwise, maybe a half turn, full turn, depending on your preferences. And now I must push much more deliberately. I must apply more force and push the button a further distance. So depending on your preferences, your mission, your application, you can fine tune the way that switch activates, but no matter how hard you push it, it's never going to latch on. To keep it on constantly, again, rotate it fully clockwise or screw it all the way on. Next up, we'll talk about the LZ click tail cap. So we'll take off the rotary, install the click, and it is that easy of simply unscrewing one, screwing on another because they are interchangeable, interoperable. So you can change these out at will. Now the click tail cap that's installed now simply operates, if I press lightly, it's gonna give me a momentary beam at high output. But if I press further, the switch will latch and it is a click on and simply click off. Works a lot like the ballpoint pins you're used to. Now, in this case, the name click is somewhat of a misnomer because LZ flashlights are designed to be very quiet in operation. After all, light is to be seen, not heard. Now let's talk about our most popular tail cap, the LZ High Low. So we'll remove the click tail cap, screw on a high low tail cap, and with this tail cap completely screwed on, it's going to operate exactly like the click did. In fact, you wouldn't know the difference when the tail cap is all the way clockwise or fully screwed on. But when the tail cap is rotated counterclockwise, unscrewed, either anywhere from a few degrees to a quarter turn, it now engages a low beam. Very much lower amount of light output. That can be changed simply by rotating the tail cap Fully clockwise gives you full high output, and anywhere from a few degrees to a quarter turn engages the low output. Notice I can change this whether the light is on or whether it's off. No silly multi-clicks to engage. Now let's talk about the high strobe tail cap. And once again, simply remove one, install the other. Now again, when this is fully screwed on, it's going to act exactly like the click. But when it is loosened, anywhere from a few degrees to a quarter turn, it now engages not a low beam like the high-low, but a high-frequency tactical strobe. Again, simply rotating the tail cap, I can go to constant on and into strobe. Now, depending on the frame rate of this camera and video, that strobe may or may not look like what it looks like in true life. But again, that simple. One click, I'm into strobe. I go into constant beam, so I can change modes, whether it's on or whether it's off. So if I need to go directly into strobe, there's no silly multi-clicks involved. One press of the button, I'm in the mode I need. And finally, we'll go into the LZ remote tape switches. And we offer the LZ remote tape switches in both a 5-inch cable length and a 12-inch cable length. And it simply depends on the type of weapon system you're using and how much distance you need between the pressure pad and the light. So here we have engaged the 12 inch remote tape switch. And this is going to act exactly like the rotary tail cap, but instead of having a push button on the back, I have a pressure pad. So as long as I'm pressing on the pressure pad, I get light. So this is gonna work extremely well on a rifle or a semi-automatic shotgun. And when I need this constant on, if my thumb gets tired from holding this pressure pad, again, simply take the tail cap, rotate it fully clockwise or screw it all the way on, 
and now it's on hands-free, independent of the pressure pad. Now the beauty of this system is that this on-off at the tail cap level is independent of the pressure pad. So if my pressure pad is damaged, even if this cable is completely severed in two, my light remains fully operational at the tail cap level. Completely fail-safe system that you know your weapon is going to have light in the worst disaster. Hopefully this quick demonstration of the various tail cap options for LZ modular flashlights has been helpful. One caveat to note, if you're looking for a high-low tail cap for your alpha model, there is a specific alpha high-low tail cap that is calibrated specifically for alpha models. The high-low I demonstrated moments ago is calibrated for Bravo and Charlie's. Be sure you get the right one for your model. But all of the other tail caps are universal and common across the LZ product line. And since they're interchangeable and interoperable, changing your tail cap on an LZ modular flashlight is as easy as... There's nothing as easy as changing a tail cap on an LZ modular flashlight.